Now, it's time to listen English. Attention shoppers, it's 9.45 p.m. and our department store will be closing soon. Our store will reopen tomorrow morning at 10. If you have any products you would like to buy, please proceed to one of our checkout counters now. If you haven't found any Christmas presents for your family members yet, why don't you give them our gift certificate? We have both $10 and $20 gift certificates available at our customer service desk on the second floor. And I'd like to remind you that our business hours will be extended to 11 p.m. from tomorrow. Finally, don't forget to pick up our free balloons for your kids at the main gate when you walk out of the store. Thanks for shopping at Dave's today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for shopping at Lee's, the only family-owned bookstore in West Point, run by the Lee family since 1975. I'm happy to announce that our children's book section on the second floor is having a blowout sale today with a 30% discount on all children's books ranging from picture books to fairy tales. For those of you who prefer online shopping, you can take advantage of our new website. Please check our website often for specials available only to online shoppers. This week only, we offer free shipping for every online purchase. Plus, if your total order amount is over $100, we'll send you a $10 gift certificate right away. Good afternoon, Ms. Garcia. This is Ron Taylor calling from Peace Home Depot. I'm calling to let you know that the lawnmower you ordered on January 13th has just arrived in our warehouse. We are going to get it delivered to your office in Atlanta within a week. As usual, our delivery men will leave an invoice with the receptionist at the front desk. But please be sure that our account number for making payments has recently been changed. You can find the new account number at the top of the invoice easily. Thanks and have a nice day. Welcome to the Best Seller of the Month event tonight. I'm thrilled to see so many people here at Noble's Bookstore. Today is the fifth meeting of the series this year, which gives us a chance to meet a famous author in person every month. In a few minutes, David White, who has put his latest collection of poems on the bestsellers list, will be here with us. He is well known for his beautiful poems about Mother Nature. For our audience tonight, he will talk about his life and career. Afterwards, we'll get an opportunity to hear him recite one of his favorite poems. That's not all. There is one more thing to surprise and delight you. After the talk, we'll pick out ten people from the audience at random and give them signed copies of his latest bestseller as a present. So don't throw away your ticket stubs. Now, please welcome Mr. White. Hello, Mr. Taylor. This is Kylie Johnson from Chicago Daily. I'm calling to let you know that your subscription to our newspaper will end at the end of this year. If you decide to renew the subscription within this month, we will give you a 30% discount. This special offer is made to express our gratitude for your loyal patronage over the past 10 years. Also, we notice that you've been paying your subscription fee by check. I'd like to remind you that we offer an extra 5% off on online payments. If you find it more convenient to pay online by credit card, please do so. To get our payment information, don't hesitate to visit our website at www.chicagodaily.com or you can call us at 988-7000 if you have any questions. Take advantage of these fantastic deals and we hope to continue serving you next year. Bye. Hello, you have reached Jimmy Truman, personnel manager at STC Automobiles. I'm sorry I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message after the beep. I'll get back to you as soon as I return on January 30th from the Motor Show in Detroit. If you are calling regarding a job opening for a receptionist, please give a call to my secretary Liz Jennings at extension 20. If your call is about a design proposal, please email Joan Dixon, our senior designer, directly at dixon01 at stc.com. Be sure to include your last name in the email heading so that Ms. Dixon can find your proposal more easily. Hi everyone, 
I'm pleased to present this prestigious award for excellence in sales to Harry Dawson. He started his career as a salesman for our competitor, Blue Ocean Incorporated, right after he graduated from college in 1990. When he first joined our company, Philips, in 1995, we had some financial problems due to an economic slump. At that time, he brought up the idea of customized services in a variety of ways to meet our customers' individual circumstances. And it really helped us get over the difficulties we were facing. Since then, he has consistently shown his ability to make profits. Personally, I admire his creativity and efforts to make himself move forward continuously. Harry, please come over here and receive your award. Good evening, listeners. This is Henry Gomez from KTN Radio Traffic News. Looking at the expressways, traffic is slowly starting to pick up as we head into the evening on Saturday. Particularly, there's a major delay at the West Coast Tunnel. It was reported that there's a collision between two vehicles inside the tunnel. This has forced the police to shut down one lane temporarily. The authorities said the tunnel won't reopen until past midnight as it takes time to have those cars towed from the tunnel. If you are driving into the city from the west side now, You are encouraged to take the Silver Bridge instead. Also, just as a note, if you're on southbound Interstate 75 near Waterloo River, please be aware that there is currently a high wind advisory out for that area. So please drive safely. For more of your latest updates, keep it tuned to KTN Radio. The next traffic news will be aired in an hour. Attention, please. All passengers heading to Toronto are asked to go down to platform number three as the train has now started boarding. For your safety, get on the train carefully because there is a large gap between the train and the platform. Please be sure to have your tickets handy. Also, I'd like to remind you that there are still a few tickets left at the ticket booth located next to platform number four. If you haven't bought a ticket yet, please do so as soon as possible. Please note that you may be charged more if you have any extra pieces of baggage with you. Again, the train for Toronto is leaving in five minutes. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Tevez. This is Linda from Accounting. I'm calling to let you know that there's something wrong with your travel expense report. I understand you went to Tokyo to attend the marketing conference from October 10th to October 15th. I received all your business related receipts, but it seems like you didn't include your hotel receipts. Although I looked into the folder you gave me several times, I failed to find them. Without them, I can't issue reimbursement checks in a timely manner. Therefore, I'd like you to fax me those receipts as soon as possible. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me at extension 3100. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad to see all of you here in the training session. As most of you already know, we recently developed new computer programs in order to enhance our daily operations. For warehouse workers, we'd like you to get used to our new inventory software program. I'm sure this program will help you keep our stock well organized. For instance, when our clients want to order something, you can check whether we have certain items in stock immediately by using this new software program. If you work in accounting, You need to get your current accounting program upgraded. With this updated program, you can calculate the gross sales per day more accurately and quickly. Let's break up into groups of two and learn how these software programs work. Good morning. This is Alan Bank with the morning local news. On Monday, Jerry Jung, A city spokesman stated that the city council approved the plan to build a new highway by a small majority. The construction will begin in March and it will be completed in five years. The completion of the highway is expected to help lessen pressure on existing highways and reduce travel time from Canton Bay to Brooks Valley. A city official said the entire highway will be landscaped and fenced off on both sides to enhance speed and safety. This is expected to be a model for future highways in the U.S. However, some environmental groups object to the construction plan because it may do harm to the environment. Hello, Brian. This is Janet Kim calling from JM Enterprise. 
I received an email asking why we haven't paid for last month's order yet. We apologize for the inconvenience. The truth is that we had some problem with our computer network, which caused delays in processing payment for goods we received. But our network has been restored, and we expect to be able to settle balances this afternoon. We will issue checks later in the day, and you should receive them in the mail no later than this Friday. If you want to pick them up in person, please call Jenny Wallace in Accounting at 544 1033. She is in charge of your account. Thank you.